Hello, everybody. This is a stream I'm not normally on Sundays, but I have a folder to show some of the girls that wanted to learn how to incorporate some file folders into the Tim Holtz Philo folder system, I guess it's called. So hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Um, we're back to daylight savings, so we jumped ahead. And now I think it's spring. <laughs> Whenever the time changes, it's spring for me. It's a beautiful sunny day here. And it's on the plus side for a change in, in temperature. So I'll just wait for a little bit for some more people to come in. Let's see, we have a few people in. Feel free to chat. Hi, Nashua. Hey, Dot. What's the weather like in the UK? We have a beautiful sunny day here. I'm just itching to get out in my garden, but still have about two feet of snow on the ground. <laughs> Hopefully it'll stay warm and melt quickly. Sorry, I can't say being summoned to a family. Oh, that's okay. Family comes first, understood. It'll be recorded so you can uh, watch it whenever you've uh, got some free time. Enjoy your family get together. Oh, good. A sunny day. Always puts a smile on your face. Makes you feel better. <clears throat> I saw your flowers. I was so jealous. <gasps> I'm so wanting some spring bulbs to come up. <laughs> Nashua, where are you from? You're fairly new. Hey, Eileen. You did the March hair for his time. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm wondering if I should put a little uh, watch on his collar. <laughs> I might just do that. Hey, Joycey. Egypt, awesome. Welcome, welcome. I hope I said your name right. <laughs> Not the greatest for pronouncing things. You'll be in and out. That's fine, Joycey. This is uh, impromptu. That's fine, Kenny. I know there's other people probably on, so that's fine. I'm recording. So if, if you have other uh, streamers, feel free to go there. That's fine. You won't hurt my feelings. Oh, good. <laughs> I said it right. Oh, is it your birthday, Joycey? Happy birthday. You've got a, well, it's beautiful here. I hope it's a beautiful day for you there. Happy, happy birthday. I hope you do something special. Go out for 
dinner or whatever it is you like to do. Uh, hi, Flo. It's Flo, right? There's so many of you guys that sometimes, heck, I get my kids' names mixed up, so. <laughs> so I did finish this as Eileen suggested, and it was a good suggestion, I must admit, <laughs> the hair, because we had the time change today. Oh, good, it's Flo. Oh, Andrea, but you go by Flo, or do you go by Andrea? I guess I should start making a book of names. <laughs> so it did turn out, I what I did is I had my own um, drawing on a piece of paper. I didn't paint this on here. This is actually, um, I cut out the hair from um, some existing artwork that I had. Hi, Judy. Hey, Lena. And I pasted it on. And then you just go over top with the little spare hairs and whiskers and stuff. So use up your drawings that you have in your book. Photocopy them or whatever. You can make them any size. You can darken them or lighten them, whatever you want to do. Change them to black and white or color. And then use them on top of stuff. So reuse your existing books and you, you'll find you'll have a whole lot more ideas and ephemera to use if you do that. And why not use what you made, your art? Hey, Joan. Good to see you all. I've done it before. Um, sometimes you have to get another reminder of doing that. And um, I just happened to be watching some of uh, Pam Carricker, and that's what she does quite a bit, actually. And um, anyone that does the... Oh, Tracy. Oh, no, it's not Tracy. What's her name? She makes those character out of magazine um, images. Can't think of her name. I have a book of hers. Let me see. Oh, I have one of her uh, magazines here somewhere. Probably doesn't even have her name. Tisha Moore. And that's what she does. This is one of her little magazines that you can get. And uh, so she cuts out her existing work from other journals, like photocopies them, and then she uses them to make new pages. So it's a great idea. And then it's less work, too. And it's an instant gratification. <laughs> Who doesn't need that? So I finished this one. Well, it's not finished, finished, but I started the inside. It's similar to the other one. Um, so I put another one of these little note cards. But this time I put it inside a pocket on the bottom, but glued this down so nothing can fall through. And then what I'm going to do is I can write on these lines. And then I can cover it up so I don't have to show it to anybody. When I'm on stream and I want to show what I'm doing, I don't have to show my personal writings. Because it, 
it looks nicer this way and then you know you don't have to cover it with a piece a post-it or something like that and then this one is i'm going to do a drawing on here maybe a painting i don't know and then i've left this because it's beginning of march so i haven't decided what i want to put on this so this is the basic layout you can add to this to whatever degree you want so i like doing that and then once you get all your stuff for that month then you can go crazy with trim and um, all kinds of stuff buttons metal pieces beads whatever you want <laughs> Hey, Gail. Yeah, so I thought that was a neat idea. And, I, and then there's the uh, little month that I cut out of the uh, exist old um, calendars. You may as well cut the, mar the months and days out, and then you can use them in here. And just, if you don't like your own handwriting. And... Uh, I just use a jelly plate or a jelly print on the back of this and I can add to it. I could paint over it or paint sections in it if I wanted to. But this goes on really well on the and it shows the uh, manila color. And this was the uh, deli wrap print. So use up your jelly wraps. They're awesome. And I think you saw everything that was in here. That was the finished painting. And those were the um, bits of pieces of paper to make the houses. And then just paint on the top of them with snow. And then that was my pocket to put all my little whatever I did. And then I got another one of these. This was my letter of what I did this month. So it might change. And there was another place to put some of these. And then I just put that on the back. I can still add stuff if I find I forgot something. So it's a great idea. So you guys, uh, what was it? It was a Kathy or Colleen showed the Tim Holtz Philo, I think it's called, folder. Where is it? Well, that's what I did yesterday. Now I gotta find it. Uh, I just meant I gotta find it under this pile of stuff. So to make this, it depends on how much of a bottom and top piece you want. Uh, let me go out a bit so you can see all of this. Okay, why is that? Uh oh. My thing isn't. Hmm. Now I can't find my controls are missing. That's weird. Oh, there they are. Okay. Ooh. There. Okay, so this was made out of four file folders. But with the four, I have lots of 
ends, odds and ends from those four that I can use in it for the flaps and stuff like that. I think it goes this way. So your file folders have these gussets that you can fold. And that's what they have in that file system, the Tim Holtz one. So now you can round the corners. You can make them whatever size you want. But that's basically the idea. And then you can put um, paper over top of this so you won't see this glue down to the page. And this you can put a piece of paper over this too. Okay, so basically it's very, very simple. So what, you want me to make one now? You don't, I can't figure out <laughs> how to do that, Eileen, really? So this part, this to here is one file folder. See how it's attached there? I've cut off the tab like this to make it straight. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come on, Missy. Now I gotta go find some file folders. Did I bring them a bunch out? You see. I gotta go get some. Just hold on. All right. So you have one file folder. So it'll open like this. Here's your gusset. So you take another file folder. And to make this piece, you need, you need to take the other, this file folder and you want this gusset to wrap around your fold, or whatever you want to call it. So you want to cut probably about two, well, one inch to two inch. Depends how much you think you're going to hold in in that um, file folder if you think you're going to put a lot then make it wider so i've cut off so that's about uh two inches and then on this side this is where it folds you want to cut off the same amount So you have these pieces left over to make flaps or whatever. 
Okay, so there's your gusset. See? So that, now you could leave this on if you want to and just go like this and glue it on if you want. It'll make this a little wider. It's up to you. Okay. Then you take another file folder, and this depends on how much of a bottom you want. See? There's a bit of space here and here. If you want it um, completely covered, then you're going to probably have to use a file folder for each one, each end. Okay? So you want to cut... Now, if, you, if it doesn't matter um, the width, it's just a basic um, something just to hold big papers. Then just cut the file folder in half. And it'll save you one file folder. Okay. So you want to keep, and we'll just cut these tabs off. So there's the gusset again. So you want to cut that off. So this is the part that will glue onto your paper, like, like so. Now, don't glue past where the gusset is because then you won't be able to fold it. Then you make another one on this end. So it folds over. So the other one will go over here like this and it'll be done the same way. You cut a piece so that you have something to glue to. And that's all there is to it. Yeah, because they, if you notice the Tim Holtz ones, they they are made so that they, they fold. They're kind of curved. So and there's like one, two, three, four, five score lines on here. So you can fold them. So that when they curve around something. Now you probably, if, if you cover these, this is up to you, you can cover them, but you'll have to score the paper afterwards. And it would be fairly thick, or you could paint the gussets. See, if, say this was in my, the book. See, then this would wrap around. Or this would be, you know, the, like that. So it wraps around it. One that is in the middle of, to make the type of waterfall. Um, those are very easy. All that is, you need some, um, don't use this type of paper. You need a thin paper. So, let me get some here. Okay. What they did 
is they have We'll do three. I think they had four. And they curved the uh, corners. But all it is, is each piece of paper, you drop it down about an, an inch on top of each other. Okay? So it's like that. And on the, so it's got the step down on the left side, and then you turn it over, it's on the right side. So what you do is you find the center point between, see this, this end here and this end. So these two we find the center and it's right there and they stitched down that so that when you turn it where the stitch lined it line is when they turn it ah, I can't. it goes like it goes like this it turns the whole thing turns over so that you get more than one fold and then you just um end up uh having your your folds i don't know if you'll want to do that i find it it looks kind of bulky to me um especially when you got that many papers and you and you're trying to turn it all and have it all So you just have to make sure you have the right spacing. That's that's the big thing. Let's see if I can. I wonder if I could. Depends on how much spacing you want. I think it has to be more than that. I think it has to be wider. Let's see what this does. This is way too wide, but we'll do a big one. There. So when you turn it, then you have all your waterfalls. So you could use just this plain thin paper. So because I turned it, there's your line you want to stitch down, or you could put tape on it. Okay, and then you can uh, lay it in your folder. So what they did was they had it on like this so they glued the last sheet down and then you can glue all put whatever on these folds yeah lena it does <laughs> so any questions Hi, Elaine. So, you know, depending on how expensive the Tim Holtz file folders are, um, like here, I think they're $8 a piece. So I can get 25 folders for $8. <laughs> 
depends if you want to do it. Maybe you just don't want to. So I'll leave it up to you. But I just thought, you know, that's such an easy way of, of doing one of these. Why not do it yourself? Give you the option. And you can make these long if you wanted to or however you want. You could have two little holes with a ribbon tying them if you wanted to. That would be cool. There's all kinds of ways of decorating these things. Um, you could have a... <laughs> I had to laugh when I was doing this because it was reminding me of the last folder I made because <laughs> it has that flap. <laughs> So you could actually do that folder system and instead of making the pocket and cutting that top part off, you could have made the flaps. And I thought, oh, God, <laughs> Patty, <laughs> I could have a conniption. <laughs> but this would have would have held her stuff that she wanted to hold. So you could put a hole through here and have an elastic to put around it or a button and um, some Surrey silk or something like that. But for this is great for separate um, folders of whatever you're putting in it. But as far as using it for our um, folder a month, it would be too, too big. But this would be great for having separate things, like say, use it for a um, an art class you're you're collecting information for, or um, maybe a trip you're going to, and you have the um, all of these attached with with uh, different bits of paper, so you can write on it or put papers in it or pockets on it or whatever to hold stuff. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Your monthly uh, receipts from art <laughs> supplies. <laughs> but it's an easy, easy way of uh, making a neat little art folder. I thought. So. Um, what was it? I think I was going to. I have done a bit more in here. Not a lot, though. I've been kind of busy. I think that was the last one you saw. Just a little. Oops. Nope. Oh, maybe I did do some more. March. When was it last one we did? February? Could be February. And March. I think this is last year. Yeah, it must be last year. Yeah, because I was behind. That's it. So you know, just have... And then just stuff to hide things. December. Oh, here we go. This is December, this December, or last December. What? Oh, I know what I did. I started a new book. That was it. Ah, oh, I must have left it upstairs. I'll bring it down the next time. It's on my cart. I have one of those Ross Cog, whatever they're called, carts, and it's got all my stuff in it. 
Um, now, I just wanted to show you, because I'm very proud of this. <laughs> my leaves, my, this is a violet that I grew from a leaf in late fall. And it's a, it's, I, I wanted to show it to you because it's so different. It's called a trailing violet. And if you notice the leaves, they're almost tubular. They're very odd. See how the, even the, the stem thickens. And then the and the see how the I don't know if you see how the stem is kind of traveling out, and the flowers are um, kind of hanging. They're very pretty. They hang. I thought it was so cool, and it's got tons of buds coming. You used to have violets too, Judy? Like, did you put them in shows and stuff? I don't do that, but I'm just a plant nut. <laughs> I just have to grow things. Uh, oh, your mom grew these, the trailing ones? I haven't seen trailing ones before. I thought that was very unusual. You can't grow weeds. And then I, uh, my one of a uh, um, orchid finally bloomed. I think I put it on Instagram, but I had to show it to you. It's a fairly young orchid, but look at the flowers. They're purple and gold. the shapes of them. Isn't that gorgeous? Very unusual color combination. This has been in bloom for about a month now. So they last for quite a while. So I just thought I'd show you that, but now, see, I was bad. See how the leaves are crinkled here? That's because I didn't, I let it dry out too much. So they'll tell you when they're not happy. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. So I love my plants and that's the only plants I have. I don't have any spring stuff yet. So today... thought I would put something in here and I, I was thinking of spring of course and maybe um, snowdrops in the snow um, I was also looking through all my papers and looking for my jelly prints and whatever else I could find and I found my bug boy <laughs> do you remember him <laughs> I found them. I'm going to use them in my book this year. I think he's cute. The the yarns are um, from a magazine. And then um, I just made a bug body that I saw online. Put some wings on. Made a head. <laughs> tennis. They're fun to make. You guys we should do some of these. I think they're fun. <laughs> so would you guys be interested in doing this type of thing? Making these funny little creatures? <laughs> 
So I did find this book again, and it had some snowdrops in it. There it is. So I think I'll just uh, make some snowdrops. So just lightly draw. And we'll probably, I don't know, maybe we'll paint it. Just simple, simple. And then we'll have just some snow around here. Maybe a couple more. Please. Just just something very simple. Hey Kathy. I'm just doing a little bit of painting in my March book. So let's do I think I'm gonna use um artist or not artist, um just the plain let's see the craft paint. It's this one. I think that's a shiny. Uh, let's see. It's this one. I'll do some green. Blue, green, white. Are, yeah, you're doing the file folders, aren't you, Kathy? They're fun. I really like doing them. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's even, even less stress because it's not a book you bought. So it's, um, you know, you can't, it's just a file folder. <laughs> That's why I um, even draw on the file folder for to put into your um, piece, like this stuff, leftovers from cutting things. Leave them not attached, and, and then you could actually gesso over them and then draw on them or paint on them or glue stuff on them, whatever you want. And then when you get more um, confident in what you're doing, then open your precious journal you, you bought and put stuff in it. Show us how to make... No! <laughs> I just did. You have to go back to the recording. <laughs> 
I'm not showing it again. I'm not showing you how to do it. I'll show you what I did, what it looks like, but I'm not going to show it again. Here. This is the Timmy. <laughs> There's your accordion folder. That's just made out of paper. You stitch down here and then you fold it and then you glue it to your paper. <laughs> so it's all using the gusset of four folders to make this. And then you just cover it with paper and paint. Add your um, holes for the cord to wrap around or what, and you're done. So it's cost of four folders and three pieces of paper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, Eileen, you would have tried that. Let's face it. <laughs> All right. Let me get these plants out of the way. Yes, you are. You're a little instigator, you. <laughs> I'm just going to put some paint on here. This is Baja Purple, I think. Put paint on it. Some white. I like to do the shadows of the snow in kind of a purpley blue, kind of a periwinkle. If you don't have a periwinkle, what you can do is um, get some blue and add just a bit of white and a touch of orange to it, and it'll make it the color. So this is citron green for the leaves because it's spring. It'll be nice and bright. And this one is Sprout Green. And I'll get my brushes. Okay, so we'll just put some color in here first. I'm just going to go right over the uh, flower leaves. I can still see some of the drawing through because it's, it's a fairly thin coat. And just going to take some of that off. Just kind of dry brush it. Just a little bit. You can add some and take some white.
I'm just doing the background a little bit, just so that it doesn't look like it's floating. <laughs> Kind of fog it out. This is just to play. It's just for a filler of my book. It's nothing terribly, you know, like an art piece. It's just plain. You got to do that sometimes just to relax and not stress out about things. Just enjoy what you're doing. There. So it's just the holes where the flowers would be coming out. So it's kind of like um, showing a shadowed area. And then I'm going to take a, this is Royal Langton, Lankle, or whatever, the, how you say it. I can never get these darn things off. And it's a quarter inch angled brush. A little bit of light green. And just kind of mix the two colors so it kind of gives you a bit of a streak in it. You can add more color to it. Now the file folder, because it's not gessoed, it's going to be a little tricky um, moving the paint because the paint's going to soak right in. I'm just going to put some on here too. Just add a little more. And I'm just making the stem of a flower a little more bright lime green or citron green. You could probably do this with markers too. If you don't want to paint, colored pencils would work on this too. And then I want to do a little bit of white on the flowers. green in there. Should be using a filbert instead. Hmm. Let's try this one. That's better.
Some snowdrops have a little bit of green on the ends. On the, I think it's on the inside. Just a smidge. It's like they have a mark. No, I I've I used it on uh, so far on the file folder. Um, I had I believe I gessoed this. Did I not? I think I did. No, it doesn't warp it. As long as you're not you know piling it and piling it on. Just a quick coat. Dry it, both sides. Make sure it's completely dry. And then if you have to put another coat on, you can. I don't remember that one. So. <laughs> so it was a week ago. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you on that one. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. A little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit of a shadow on the flower. And you can use the same color of um, that purple. Just where it would be. Let's see. Probably overlapping there. In here. Then a little bit of white again. For the real bright highlights. Would be right here. This paint's not very, it's very translucent, so sometimes it takes a couple applications to get it the way you want. I lost my green spot. To let that dry and then um, put a 
bit of, um, yeah, I better let it dry. Dry it with a hair dryer. Watercolor ground, I can't see why you couldn't. Basically goes on the same way as gesso. So I would, yeah, I um I would try it on a separate piece just in case. See what your folder does. bit more dark in here. I think I might need a little bit more dark. Okay. Raw sienna. Or orange just to add a bit of gray to this so it darkens it a bit. over here and just a smidge there So I've just grayed up that blue so that it's, I can get a little bit of a deeper color in here in the shadowed areas. Give a little highlight of white in where the sun would be. It's best to get a bristle brush when you're doing scumbling. Kind of like dry brushing, but you want a fairly stiff brush. Thank you. 
Yeah. So far. Oop. So I just fix the have to fix the um, flower yet. I'll take this brush, I guess. And a little bit of white. Ah, I would love to know who invented all those different types of brushes. <laughs> An artist just like us, Eileen. <laughs> That have their ways of doing things. So I'm going to get my white marker and it is where I just bought some new white markers. Where did they go? I just opened it. Use my trusty Sharpie, I guess. Not sure where I put it. This one empty. Maddening. I don't know where I put that. What's that? No. This one's done. Tell me that one's done too. Yep. Done. I'm running out of markers. <laughs> new ones. That's ridiculous. Oh, 
Hello. No, I guess I'll have to open another one. Oh, I probably put it in my other pencil case for upstairs. That's where. Sorry, guys. Messing about here. Trying to find stuff. So, anyone else doing stuff? Are you working on your folders? Got any good ideas? You could make for your folders too, would be kind of cool. Just use up your um, ribbons and um, beads. I know Jersey Crafter makes dangles. That would be cool. These are good markers, 0.7. They're fine tip paint pens. Pen, pent, pentar. They're for doing the rocks and stuff. You get a pack. So just something quick. And then I could write on here. About the day, or put a quote on it, or how did you attach the piece you are painting on? Um, this one is just um, it's put down with washi tape, or not washi tape, um, uh, score tape, and I made a gusset. See, there's a gusset there. And I put it beside the fold, but leave a little bit of a space. So, because we're going to put these together and you have to um, bind them a Coptic stitch. So, you don't want to have it right on the uh, spine. So, I like leaving a gusset. So it gives it more strength. So it's just a quick, quick little something. Now I could do the same over here, like something else, or I could put, um, attach a drawing I've done or whatever. So you just keep adding to it. I could do, <laughs> I could do the same, same look snow in here and then bunny tracks. <laughs> There's lots of bunny tracks out there looking for new flowers coming up. <laughs> they need to have a little snack of my flowers. So 
so you could draw a rabbit on here. You could attach something on here if you wanted to. It's whatever you're making this folder for. For me, it's about the month. For you, it might be different. For you, it might be about a class you're taking. It might be um, about the supplies you're buying. <laughs> But it's fun. You could add ribbon and um, borders if you wanted to. Like this paper is not bad. You could actually uh, put a border on here. You could border these. Um, let's see. And look through your books of, you know, all the books that we've been buying. <laughs> for inspiration like this one let's see what she's done she uses a lot of borders in hers I love that idea she puts the uh latches paint some on so it looks like a door hinge Where is it? She begins. yeah so she does different borders on the sides could do that You just get ideas from there's an, uh, quite a few books out there to show you different styles and different ways of doing things that's cute it's a paint swatch that she's used that was cute too she draws full tags and then journals on them that's a cute idea you <laughs> You already shopped at Joggles? Oh my gosh, you two. You're dangerous together. <laughs> all kinds of different things you can do here. There's quite a few different um, journal books out there. That's cute. Little bunny. That's Looks like legs, little shoes. <laughs> collage, different types of collage. Yeah, so it's endless what you can do. You just have to, sometimes you need a little something like this to spark some ideas there's nothing wrong with that just don't copy it so we could put let's see let's put a little border around here let's see what we got Well, I know what I have. I haven't even used it yet. I forgot I even had that. <laughs> I got the magazine and you get this stuff with it. So there's all kinds of birds, there's trees, little swing. This is cute. So you could use all these little things for doing a border 
or we could do a border here. Let's try that. Let's see. It's, uh, dark brown. There's a dark gray, dark green or brown. Should have a brown somewhere. Caramel. Coffee. That'll do. Now I need my acrylic block. Oh, this could be fun. Where the heck would I put those? Hmm. Acrylic blocks. I don't know where they are, so I'm going to have to, will that work? Somewhere, but mm, your guess would be as good as mine right now. So let's see if this will work on here. Improvise, people. Bad. And this might be tricky to match this. Let's see. I'm going to put piece of paper on there. All the wrong way. Smart. Close enough.
one bit. Didn't come out there, but that's fine. I'm happy with it. And then we could put, let's see. I'm going to use this tree as a limb. So can go like that. Now, if you were Doing this with a block, you could do all kinds of stuff. But unfortunately, I don't know where they are. I had them out a little while ago, but yeah, like everything else around here, I <laughs> can't find it. I have no idea where I put it. I could put little um, cherry blossoms on it. Here's an idea. Let's try that. Little little buds just starting to emerge. I'll try that.
<laughs> I'm going to try to do this by hand. <laughs> Are they under the folios? What's under the folios? This? No, see? Is that what you meant? You could have used these probably too on that package, but this is fun. I like the look of it. So you just load your brush up and dab two colors on your brush probably would be brighter if you used um, artist quality instead of this stuff but it looks cute And then we can get a little bit of pink. And we'll add some uh, cherry blossoms. So just a little bit of white and a Tap a pink. You can get it on the brush. There. Just Little buds starting to come out. Buds are usually dark pink. Don't forget to overlap the stems. So it looks a little more dimensional. Yeah. So 
so. ribbon you could put washi tape around it see i could still put something in here writing or whatever pictures that's where i'm going to put some um art stuff work let's see These are some old ones, but so you can put your artwork in like that. Uh, this is, it's a place to keep all of this stuff. That was January. I got to make my January one. Little eggs could go there like that. That's an old one. I can leave that one in there. That's an old one. So I could put them on there. I could just lay it down like that if I wanted to. I could put it on there so it flips. Or I could put it on there. Yeah. So there's where I put my notes about whatever's in this pocket. I could, instead of doing... So you can change up every month instead of doing this where I made a note about whatever went on in the month in, in, in this, like I did here, I could still put artwork in here too. Um, instead of that, I could have it all written down in here. Now I could take, some paper so that it's hidden when I show this. I don't have to show what I wrote. So I could actually fold it and washi tape it onto here and then you could just flip it up. You just have to play. Sometimes you're, you, you get stuck. Um, that's why I like this idea is without all of this stuff, it's a file folder. And all I've done to start is to add some papers. Like, that. here's, this is going to be January. So this is all this is. It's a file folder with jelly works added onto it. So start with that. You have your colors that you're going to be using for the month. So there's blue, there's gray, there's gold, you, a little bit of 
different shades gray, maybe in black. And then from here, you can either paint something on this side like this or cut something out or copy something from your, your already done journals and glue it onto here. And then make a little note card. So I haven't done anything in here. So you make a little note card for this side. This one has a pocket. So all I did was I, I tucked this note card halfway up into this pocket and glued it onto the back of this. And then put the ribbon in between the note card and, and this pocket. And then I put a piece of paper over top of this. And before I glued it on, I stuck the ribbon in between. And that's how you get your ribbon to stick in. Now, you could take eyelets and do the same thing. But you'd have to do that before you stick it on. So... This is just the basics. And then this is just a, a flap that was added to it. So this is all I'm doing for the basic part. So by the time the, um, the end of, of the month comes, I'll have whatever I've done ready to be put into this book. And then you can add all your little doodads like um, washi tape, ribbon, um, even beads, whatever you want to put in here. Then you can do that on here. Because if you want to draw on stuff, it's best not to have it already glued into here. I almost finished my first folder late last night. Just made it. Awesome, Debbie. Uh, you going to show it? I'm going to be done in, a, in, in just a little bit. You can come on right after me. I'm going to be done like at two. That's right, Kathy. Everybody's got their own way, their own style, their own time of how long it takes them to do stuff. Whatever you do, do not do art in a rush. Because then it becomes stressful. And art shouldn't be stressful. It should be something that you can relax, enjoy, and do as your at your leisure. Um, so just take your time, enjoy it. The, you have the whole year to do it. If you don't get a whole year, so what? Just make a folder. Maybe you, your folder will be for two months. Maybe it'll be for a week. However much you want to do in it. You just enjoy it. Don't stress. This is to be a stress-free hobby. And really, um, this is the best way of learning how to do things. Everybody has to start out in the beginning. Nobody sits at a table and says, I'm going to be an artist and I'm going to draw this and bam, that day there, they've got it down. No one does that. It's all a learning process. It's um, getting ideas while you're doing it. And that's, that's why it's so awesome because there are no mistakes, really. It's all a learning experience. You learn new things by doing it. So just enjoy it. 
Oh, Janet. <laughs> you should talk. <laughs> Janet, who's stressing you, really? <laughs> I can guess. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy. That's why I like to throw stuff together and, well, let's try putting this on, like, <laughs> like the rabbit. I had it in my journal. I didn't feel like drawing, so I just copied it and glued it in and then just put the little, see, it's just copied, then you just get a marker and put the hairs on. That's all it is. So look at look through your drawings. It's really cool. Look through your drawings. You can add stuff to it. And then it's fun. And then uh, the thing I like about it is later on, you know, a year or two down the line, you can take these out and look at them. And they're so much fun because they'll have your work, your progress. And make sure you do a little letter in, in each month to give your thoughts about what you need to work on, what you liked, what you found out was cool, new things that you're going to try. And you can read all this later. It's such a really neat thing to do. No, well, thanks, Deb. I, did, I didn't do that this year. That I don't even have the... I think I did that last year or the year before. And that I think it's watercolor. I think it's watercolor. But you can always improve and invent and whatever. So I just thought I'd come on and show you that and the, and the new file folders thing I showed everybody. The faux, the faux Timmy folder. <laughs> there it is. So it's easy to do if you want to try it. Watch the beginning and I showed you what you needed to cut. It's very easy. You can... It'll get, um, like, Timmy's folder is much thicker, of course, but this would get a whole lot thicker. And I'll, I'll finish one of these so sh just to show you what it looks like when it's done. And this is j um, January, so i got to finish this one. And someone made her make, yes, someone made me make a new one. <laughs> well, I'll use it for ephemera because then you've got the side, the bottom flaps to stop stuff from falling out. <laughs> All right. So, Debbie, did you want to come on? As that's it for me. You come on, and then I think um, Xander's on at 4.30, I believe. I woke up, and I, I was just doodling around, and, you know, I thought, oh, I have a few hours left. And then I looked at my um, computer's clock, and it said, it's 11.30. And I thought, what? I forgot it was daylight savings changeover <laughs> I nearly missed my own stream <laughs> my lettering will be March April May etc and some made <laughs> oh you're welcome guys happy to come on Oh, it's International Women's Day today. Should be that every day. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Patty's on now? 
I thought she was laid up. All right. Well, Debbie, are you still going to come on? Or not? She popped on at one thirty. Oh, okay. So is she still on or is she off now? You're ready? Okay, we'll go over to Debbie's then. All right, we'll see you there. Have a good day, everybody.